the universe reveals its secrets only to the patient. In the seemingly endless expanses of space, there are many mysteries researchers are still plumbing today, relying on previously collected and reliable realizations from physics and science. Nevertheless, there are always surprises that make observers of the starry sky sit up and take notice. Out there in the sea of stars, remarkable constellations can be found. Sometimes they appear as simple freaks of nature. Sometimes there seems to be no known explanation for their existence. In the following video, we present to you the most extraordinary specimens. We hope you enjoy. The Great Attractor the artistic phenomenon christened the Great Attractor gives the impression of a yellow down feather. To some, the structure is reminiscent of fireworks shot from an exploding rocket at the turn of the year. But how does such a structure come into being in free space? Researchers have located the Great Attractor in the Norma Cluster, about 220 million light years away from our Earth. There seems to be an enormous gravitational attractor. With its power, it attracts galaxies from neighboring regions at a remarkable speed of over 180,000 miles per hour. The source of that kind of pull remains literally in the dark. Researchers consider so-called dark matter to be the main cause of the fascinating impression. Otherwise, common principles of physics do not provide a satisfactory explanation for this phenomenon. Some even posit that the effect of gravity on a completely different size scale across many galaxies could possibly exhibit a previously unknown behavior. Be that as it may, the great attractor is definitely worth a look. The Sloan Great Wall The universe sometimes forms very dense clusters of galaxies, which vary in strength from region to region. So-called clusters are not unusual at all. However, there are some real heavyweights in space. Parallel to these, the areas between these clusters of galaxies are increasing in size. The vast emptiness between these points sometimes seems ghostly. The Sloan Great Wall forms the second largest wall of galaxies of this kind after the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Roughly estimated, it lies about 1 billion light years from Earth and stretches 1.5 billion light years in length. Thus, it occupies about 5% of the diameter of the universe visible to us at the present time, a truly colossal structure. In addition, the Sloan Great Wall shakes up previous findings of space research regarding the age of the universe. Space has already spanned 13.7 billion years since its presumed birth, but such structures, researchers estimate, take significantly longer to form. Nearly 150 billion years are thought to be necessary. It remains one of the many mysteries that again show that scientific efforts to better understand the universe and its formation are still in their infancy. The Large Quasar Group LQG while the Sloan Great Wall occupies an impressive region of the visible universe, there are places with galaxies much more densely packed together. The large quasar group is considered the most massive structure in the universe anywhere. Quasars are located at the center of a galaxy and are considered the active core of any galaxy. As a massive black hole, they swallow surrounding matter, releasing an incredible amount of energy into the universe in the form of light and radiation as they collapse. These focused beams are so energetic charged that a single quasar is capable of dwarfing the radiant power of all the other stars in our Milky Way. The accumulation of the large quasar group with a whole 73 specimens in a relatively small space challenges the cosmological principle with its presence. The assumption of this principle is that variations are allowed, but from a great distance, the universe spreads more or less homogeneously and evenly in space. So how this snapshot is to be evaluated is currently puzzling researchers. The whole universe. Admittedly, this is not an observable structure, but a theoretical derivation of the actual size of the universe. How far the universe extends beyond the boundaries we can currently perceive is simply unknown. A comparison with a simple atom symbolizes the difficulty of such a prediction and nevertheless provides an important clue. These are for the most part empty and possess only a tiny nucleus inside, in addition to their shell. According to scientific assumption, the universe itself could be about 10 billion times larger 
larger than an atomic nucleus, which in this thought experiment is representative for the visible universe. However, the shell, as the current extent of the complete space, is constantly expanding, but in spite of the constant growth, the perceptible part decreases more and more. At some point, objects are too far away from each other and simply move too fast for the light from them to reach the Earth in time. The so-called light horizon is then considered crossed. The night sky remains dark. There is nothing left to discover with the help of our innate type of visual perception. However, this scenario remains reserved for Earth inhabitants anyway. By this time, the burned out and bloated sun has long since made the Earth uninhabitable for all life or even swallowed our beloved planet completely the area of space visible to us. The visible universe is guaranteed more than a small front yard, although this figurative comparison to the remainder of the dimensions of space as yet undiscovered is an appropriate one. What's interesting is the consideration of the visible universe on so-called space maps. The connection of clusters, or so-called filaments, and the cavities between them appear as an evenly stretched net. But why can only a part of the universe be observed? The answer lies in the speed of light and its duration until it can reach us from a maximum possible distance. Non-visible areas lie at such a distance from our home that their light will only reach us in the distant future, if at all. The current light horizon is 13.7 billion light years. To go further into the past and into the distance is unfortunately impossible via conventional observation with the human eye. Therefore, the light horizon is also often used as a measure for the age of the universe. Thanks to its abrupt and rapid expansion since the Big Bang, however, its total diameter is already said to be almost 93 billion light years. Nevertheless, in the tiny and visible section with about 10 million giant clusters and 350 billion large galaxies in the style of the Milky Way alone, there is certainly enough to spy for the curious. The Newfound Blob Again and again, researchers uncover novel structures in space. The Newfound Blob used to be just such a novel discovery. The cute name should not blind you to the fact that it's one of the biggest discoveries in the universe ever. It's considered the largest collection of gas bubbles and galaxies. With a distance of 11 billion light years to the Earth, it's quite close to the border of the perceptible area of the universe. Some of the bubbles claim four times the space of the Milky Way. In total, the structure extends to more than 200 million light years. In the meantime, however, the blob has probably traveled further. Like everything in the universe, it's constantly on the move. The impressions we capture on Earth are billions of years old. In a way, they allow time travel, an impression of the events of the past. If the blob was already at the edge of the universe, visually accessible to us today, it should have long since crossed these boundaries. What remains is to give it a well-deserved place of honor as one of the most gigantic structural expansions ever noted. Hany's Object IC 297 is a spiral galaxy in the 650 million light years distant star sign of the small lion. In its immediate neighborhood is Hany's object. The collection of picturesquely scattered nebulae is probably one of the largest phenomena in space. The short distance of only a few thousand light years to the galaxy IC 297 suggests its origin. Now and then, ejections of matter occur in the center of a galaxy. In this case, observers suspect a now inactive quasar as the trigger. The greenish shimmering mass was probably ejected by this quasar into the empty environment outside IC 297. The smoke-like and filigree structure is not the only remarkable feature. Also, the size of Hany's object, with a diameter of 100,000 light years, commands respect. Its spatial extent is larger in direct comparison to our Milky Way. It's possible that in the distant future, new stars or even a new galaxy will form in it. SWIFT J1357.2 SWIFT J1357.2 is located only 5,000 light years from Earth in the constellation of Virgo. Its structure leaves only conjectures concerning its origin. Some astrophysicists see in it the result of an interaction between a massive black hole and a smaller partner star. Together they form a binary star system with the outer star orbiting the black hole completely within less than three hours. 
Such a velocity in close proximity to the center leaves its mark. Because of the relatively stable orbit, the matter does not fall directly into the hole over the event horizon, but gradually accumulates in the form of an accretion disk. It forms a distinctive ring shape around the center. Ionized gas and matter thus drift only slowly and leisurely in a circular fashion into the hole. The special feature of Swift J1357.2 is immediately apparent. Instead of a flat disk, the gas and matter ring run horizontally. The fine wall produced causes a regular attenuation of the emitted light from the associated star. The Eridanus Supervoid If there is one thing that is everywhere in space, it is the vast areas of complete emptiness between individual galaxies and clusters of galaxies. In fact, most of our universe is almost completely devoid of matter. As eerie as the idea of absolute nothingness may seem, there is one place that really takes this to the extreme. There are places in the universe that seem to be completely empty over a large area, so-called supervoids. Even the much-discussed dark matter does not seem to exist there. There are neither stars nor stardust, let alone galaxies or any other accumulations, at least only in such a low abundance that these areas could well be called an abandoned region. One of these regions is located in the constellation of Eridanus. It extends over a range of about 1 billion light years. How the large extension of the void originated is still in question. There are some very imaginative ideas about this. There might be a massive black hole hosting its own universe. Others recognize in it a kind of imprint of a parallel universe which once collided with our universe. Even if these kinds of ideas have entertainment value, the true background remains unexplained for the time being. The Horologium Reticulum Supercluster the Horologium Reticulum Supercluster is a real monster measured by its size. It contains nearly 350,000 galaxies and is nearly 700 million light years away from Earth. In terms of area, its extent is so large that only rough estimates can be made regarding its complete spatial extent. It's thought that the other end of the cluster lies about 1.25 billion light years away from us. The galaxy cluster extends, therefore, over a range of 550 million light years. On top of that, the Horologium Reticulum Supercluster contains the Abel 3266 region, which is considered one of the densest zones in the universe known today. But it gets even better. According to observations, a gas cloud nearly 5 million light years long is approaching the region, feeding the galaxies there with new matter, a phase of star births can therefore be expected sometime in the distant future. The cluster is thus growing strongly, adding more members to its already extensive society. The universe has a lot of unusual things to offer, and the exploration of these structures helps to better understand our place in this world. How did you like the video? Do you know of any other structures worth mentioning in the infinite realms? Or do you have another comment on the subject? We welcome all feedback.